Rise and shine with the Word of God. Wake up Saturday mornings with a purpose. Tune in at 10 a.m. and join Antonia Roman as she sings and reads the Word of God. The Word of God will give you insight for the purpose in your life. Now here is your host, Antonia Roman. Hello. Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul? Every sorrow in my heart daily how long will my enemy be exalted over me consider and hear me O oh lord my god enlighten my eyes Lest I sleep the sleep of death. Yes, my enemies say, I have prevailed against him. Lest those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation i will sing to the lord because he has dealt bountifully with me good morning my friends good morning on this saturday morning i know many of you must be waking up so tired so distressed so so in a way that you just are asking god this morning for energy you're asking god this morning for strength most of all you're asking god to not let the enemy take the best of you not let the enemy take you down so my friends i am so glad you're tuning in this morning this morning we're going to be diving into Psalm 13. And in Psalm 13, as you prepare to get your reading materials together, your pads and your pens to take notes, it's really uh, talking to us about how we need to be praying for despair and relief. Meaning we should be praying for the relief of despair from despair specifically. We must continue to trust God even when he doesn't answer us immediately. And this is what Psalm 13 says. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, carrying sorrow in my heart daily? How long with my, will my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemy say I have prevailed against him. Let those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Father, we thank you for Psalm 13. And we thank you, Lord, that even in the times when we know or we feel that our enemy has come against us, our enemy has really put us in a place where we feel so defeated, 
The circumstances in our lives make us feel like we have no control. And we find ourselves pressed up against the wall. No matter what we know or what we do or what we can deal with, we really have to come to a point of knowing God will deal with us in the things that we may have done to others, even when we didn't see us doing it or understand we were doing it. But then at the same time, that we hold dearly to know that our Heavenly Father has given us the salvation of anything we might be safe facing, not only eternal salvation, but everyday life salvation as we're here on earth. So Father, we just thank you for this prayer. We thank you for the Psalm. And we thank you for awakening up this morning, despite what, what we might be feeling, what we might be going through. And we just thank you for your word in the name of Jesus, amen. My friends, have you ever felt like you're so defeated and you feel the enemy has come against you so strongly that you're pinned to the wall? You can't move, you can't breathe, you can't think, you can't see, you can't hear, you can't do anything. You're helpless, you feel helpless. And no matter what it is that you may try to do, you might even be whispering a small prayer or a cry for help. You find yourself that you're just pressed against time. And in these days that we are facing right now, my friends, a lot of people feel that way. A lot of people are feeling like there's no point of return. But I'm here to tell you, my friends, that God is a merciful God and that our hearts need to be rejoicing in the salvation that we have in him. Because when we accept the salvation and we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we were never guaranteed, we were never told we definitely didn't receive anything in writing that said we would not suffer things in life still or that we wouldn't go through trials and tribulations. When we accept the salvation from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we went into a covenant with our Heavenly Father to build a relationship with Him, knowing that no matter what it is that we then would face in life, that we would have a comforter and friend by our side. But we were never told, my friends, that we would not go, go through situations in life where we would find ourselves feeling defeated. If anything, when we're finding ourselves defeated or in situations we feel we have no control in, or situations where we feel that nothing is happening in our lives, nothing good is happening in the moment, that's when we can turn to our Heavenly Father. That's when we turn to our Jesus Christ, our anchor, friend, comforter, the one who embraces us all the time during those situations, and the one that can deal with us specifically first, in whatever we may have caused for these things to happen to us in the moment, situations, circumstances, scenarios. And when we do reach out to him, our Heavenly Father, he will bless us, he will embrace us, and he will help us through the process. Even if we're the ones who have done the wrong thing against someone, or even if we've done something that was not correct and now we are defeated by it and we feel the enemies are coming in against us. It could be something that we ourselves put ourselves into or it could be something that we didn't even know was coming. 
Innocently, you could just be an innocent bystander, now suffering from a situation that you never knew would be coming your way. But in whatever scenario, whatever circumstance, whatever situation it might be, my friends, I'm here to let you know that you can turn to your Heavenly Father and He will deal with you with that situation. You can actually sing a song to your Heavenly Father. This is what it says right here, I will sing to the Lord, yes. You will sing praise and worship unto your Heavenly Father. You will thank Jesus in praise and worship for what He's done in your life. You will praise Him for sustaining you and keeping you and loving on you and embracing you even during the toughest times of your life, my friends. Even when you feel right now the enemy is pressing you down, you're pinned down to the floor. Even when you feel you can't breathe, even when you feel you can't hear, even when you feel you can't talk, you can't see, you just find yourself almost like if you're six feet under. My friends, I'm here to tell you, your Heavenly Father will deal with you with this situation. Whether you caused it yourself or you didn't cause it, we can still run to Him because He still will love us and embrace us. And in that situation, my friends, that you find yourself in, you will ask the Lord for forgiveness. But then part of that as well is you will ask him to open up your ears again so you could hear. You will ask him to open up your eyes again so you could see. You will ask him to open up your heart so you can feel again. And you will ask him to help you understand and, and, and really tap into spiritually things in a different way like never before. Because you want him, you want your Heavenly Father to help you prevail against those situations, those enemies, those circumstances that you're currently facing that seem to make you feel like you're in a very dark place. You want your Heavenly Father's light to shine in the midst of that. You need to shine, my friends, in the midst of that. Many people are still hurting right now after everything that we've had to endure from this pandemic virus. Many people find themselves right now in a very dark place, not knowing what to do, where to turn. But what I can tell you and what I will tell you is that God is in control no matter what. You truly have to believe that. This is temporary. This is not forever. You will get back on your feet. You will move forward. You will have a home again. You will have a car again. You will have a job again. You will have family again. You will have strength again. You will have joy. You will have peace, comfort. You will find yourself where your faith will build up again. Because for many people during this time of being, being and feeling defeated, their faith has been tested and many have lost faith. They've lost faith in government. They've lost faith in their community. And primarily they've lost faith in God. Losing our faith is not a good thing. It really makes us empty. It puts us in a place of void, dormant. But my friends, I'm here to tell you that your father in heaven, he's a good father. He's a good God. You may not see it right now. You may not understand it right now. But he sees everything that has happened. He knows everything that happened. And he will see the future. He does see the future. And he already sees what he has coming for you. He already sees what he's going to bless you with. You don't see it. You don't understand it right now. But you will be in a better place because your Heavenly Father is going to take you there. A lot of, feel, a lot of you feel abandoned. You feel like God 
has let you down. God didn't let anybody down. On the contrary, God is lifting everybody up. But it has to be done through knowing your faith, building your faith, trusting in God again. You must understand that you cannot be angry, you cannot be frustrated. You have to understand that this enemy that attacked you during this time, during this season, during this new decade of 2020, may have had you pressed down, may have had you not thinking, seeing, understanding, may have had you lack things, may have taken away things, but I'm here to tell you that God is a restorer. So you need to trust in God again. You need to trust in him, my friends. God is a true God. He will deal with us, in each of us, in different ways. But he loves us all unconditionally. He embraces us. He helps us. He comforts us. He's our friend, our comforter and friend. During time of trouble, during the time where we feel the enemy has really gotten a hold of us. But I'm here to tell you, my friends, that enemies don't stay around too long. They might stay around for a little while. They might stay around for a little bit to make our lives miserable, to put us in places. But like I said, as long as you know that you stand strong in your faith with your Heavenly Father... Your enemy will not stay conquering over you. If anything, you need to use God's word. You need to pray, seek your heavenly father because you are victorious. You do have the victory, but you have to have a good attitude. You have to have a good mindset. You have to have a good way of thinking and being and trusting and speaking and walking. Continue to speak life out of your tongue. No matter what may have happened that's negative, no matter what may have happened that has been so hard on you, continue to have faith, continue to speak life, continue to trust the Lord and know that he is in control and that he's working everything out for the good of those who love him. Do you love him? And if you do, and you should, and always should, and always should, and always will, then you have nothing to worry about, my friends. Because with time, your enemy will be gone. And it will be God who has taken away that enemy of yours. And it is God who is now your ally, your friend, your comforter. He helps you through this battle. He helps you through this war. He helps you through the pain and suffering that you have been enduring. He has always been by your side. He has never left you. So my friends, I'm here to tell you, even if the enemy came, grabbed you by the throat, and almost left you without breath, almost choked you to death, I'm here to tell you that he no longer has that grip on your neck. That you are free of that. And that you have been given new breath. You can breathe again. And you can know that he doesn't have a hold on you. Because your Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, died on the cross. And when he died on the cross, not only did he take away and cleanse your sins... If you have and have given your life over to Jesus Christ. But anytime the enemy has tried to creep in and has creeped in and taken a hold of you, your Heavenly Father has always been there to rescue you and help you through the process. So, my friends, I'm just here to tell you you will open your eyes again, you will be able to speak again you will be able to hear again. You will be able to have your heart loving again. You will understand again. You will embrace again. You will love again. 
you will be placed in higher status again. You will re be restored with things again. You will gain things again. God will bless you. But just continue to stay grounded in the faith that he has given us. As long as we stay grounded in the faith and have faith to know that we can go forward, your Heavenly Father will help you in the situation. So my friends, stay strong, stay encouraged. Whatever the enemy has done to you, God will restore it. God will bless you. And God will take you to places that the enemy may have stolen from you. He will restore. Lord, Lord will restore you. Strength and comfort be to you, my friends. Continue to go forward. Continue to fight the good fight. And continue to know that your Heavenly Father loves you. And no matter what, He has never left you. So my friends, it has truly been a pleasure sharing Psalm 13 with you. I pray that you stay encouraged. I pray that you see beyond the circumstance. I pray that you see beyond the situation. And I pray that you see looking up in heaven, knowing that the blessings that are getting ready to pour down on you are blessings that will bless you in a way even better than what you had before. Because when it says that the enemy comes to steal, rob, and destroy in the middle of the night, that does happen, and it did happen to you. But the enemy is now gone. And even though he may have taken a lot away from you, let it be that he has not taken your dignity. Let it be that he has not taken your integrity. Let it be that he has not taken your spirit to mind. And most definitely, don't let it be that he has taken your faith. On the contrary, stand strong knowing that you have an awesome Heavenly Father who loves you. And he will help you rebuild, restore, and regain. My friends, be blessed. I look forward to sharing the word again with you next week. Where we rise and shine with the word of God. Wake up Saturday mornings with a purpose. God bless you. Antonia Roman is the author of Confessions of a Christian Woman, A Journey in Marriage, A New Beginning. In this book, Antonia shares her personal journey in marriage and how she used God's word to help her overcome verbal abuse. Tune in next Saturday as Antonia Roman continues to dive into the word of God. The word of God gives you insight for the purpose in your life.